Hi and welcome back. So, um, at first glance this might not look like I've done much since we last saw. But I have now fitted the other um, door panel. Uh, one of the hinges I bought was knackered so I had to make this one work with one. But works fine for my purposes. What you might notice is there's no papier mache on some places that we, there was papier mache before. And that's because this was uneven, so I've got all this back to sort of one length. So lots of sanding and cutting bits off. I've also, um, can we, yeah, we can tell from there, I've done these in, the inside of these panels. I don't know if you recall, but these are almost twice as thick as this side. So, loads of space inside now. Um, so, next thing to do here is to re papier mache the doors, this part. Um, then I will probably do one layer going over and then get a real sharp exacto knife and cut it so that we lose a lot of this gap section. Um, another thing I've done. If I turn this over, when I've been working on this head part, when I've blended it in, it's got wet or damp again. And some of it has come in like that, so it's not fitting me very well. So, I have done a new piece. Um, I've decided this time we're going to keep the plastic dome inside. That will... I'm not going to remove this, I'm just going to fit this one into there the existing piece already but this fits my head a lot better now it'll be, and it'll be a lot more stable so that's got to be fitted but I will do that when I've finished working on all the other bits so I'm not putting pressure on it and possibly damaging um, so I am going to get some papier mache down and when I've done that and we sort of blended in again, we'll have another look at things. Right, so since last time we had a look, um, I've re papier mache over this part that I'd thinned down. Um, I've not touched here yet, and I'll show you why in a minute. But the doors are re papier mache now, all the way around. So they're looking a lot better. Um, and I have added some more length on. Um, I've, it's about another 10 inches have gone on since last time we saw it. Um, and I'm busy uh, carving it into shape with a, just with a bloody, well, it's not even a Stanley knife, it's just a cheap craft knife. And... Um, it's making a right bloody mess everywhere as I'm carving bits off, but that's my problem, not yours. Um, so I'm going to continue carving this down to shape. Um, I think we're almost at the final length. There may be another two or three inches just to add the last piece of the tail. But we'll get it carved down and might get some more papier mache on. And then we'll have another look at how things are going. Right, I have uh, now got this to its full length. Um, it no longer fits on camera by any stretch. So, obviously, you've seen the front. You've seen the doors. Um, I've got these open at the moment because I've just papier mache in. And then we have all the tail section. <laughs> And all this is coated in papier mache now. Um, so next thing I want to do is continue this pattern, or not even a pattern, this randomness, everywhere. So once that's down over everything, we shall have another look at things. Okay, so I have got all this um, strips of papier-mâché all over 
the entire doomsday machine now. Um, tail all the way to front. Um, all the way around. Top, bottom, sides. Um, really standing out at the moment, but that's because it's still wet. I've literally just put the last piece down five minutes ago. Um, so this needs some really good drying now. Um, once it dries, it'll already match in a lot better like these bits on the front I did about a week or so ago. So a couple of days drying because I want it to dry really well. Um, then the next thing to do with this is to get a coat of primer over it which will really blend these in and I'll be able to see a lot better how they're working. Um, so until I it gets nice a couple of days and then I need it to be nice out to get outside. Um, bank all day weekend coming up and I'm away so I might get it done on the Monday if not at one evening this week after work. Um, but because I'm at a bit of a standstill now waiting for this to dry and be able to get outside, I have got the... We're going to start uh, getting some work done on the electronics. Probably start with the front front section first inside where it fires its big beam from. And then we'll start on the mechanics for moving an Enterprise. Um, but I think this is a really good place to leave this video when I'm at a really good, nice, big part of it finished. And we'll pick up next time probably, hopefully this will be primed. It'll be nice enough for me to get outside. If not, I'll just be starting on the electronics and this will be sat in a corner till I can get it outside. <laughs> but for now, thank you for watching. Keep trekking and keep modelling. Thank you. Goodbye.